Hi guys, this is Monisha from Swarith Advisors and today we are going to talk about Enforcement Directorate and its functions. Commonly called as ED, it is one of the several government organizations responsible for law enforcement, research, intelligence and evaluation of high profile cases involving frauds, money laundering and other illegal activities. The Directorate of Enforcement with its headquarters in New Delhi was founded in 1956. It is in charge of enforcing the Foreign Exchange Management Act of 1999 and some clauses of Money Laundering Prevention Act. For operational reasons, the Directorate is under the administrative supervision of the Department of Revenue, the policy elements of the FEMA, its law and its modifications are under the purview of Department of Economic Affairs. The Enforcement Directorate is divided into 10 zonal offices, each led by a Deputy Director and 11 sub-zonal offices, each led by an Assistant Director. Let's have a look on what are the objectives of the Enforcement Directorate. So the objectives includes enforcing two major fiscal acts in India, the Foreign Exchange Management Act FEMA 1999 and the Prevention of Money Laundering Act PMLA 2002. Secondly, conducting investigations into alleged FEMA violations or infringements in order to inflict appropriate fines on the accused perpetrator. Conducting investigations, tracing, attaching and or confiscating assets connected to financial crime and arresting and prosecuting criminals are all authorized under the PMLA 2002. Coming to the composition of the Enforcement Directorate, some of the Enforcement Directorate officers are hired directly while others are delegated from other state agencies such as income tax, excise and other departments. The officers come from the IAS, IRS, IFS, IPS and ICLS uh, that is Indian Corporate Law Service and other government agencies. Coming to the working methodology that is modus operandi of the Enforcement Directorate, here are some of the points worth noticing. Improving job performance by using updated systems and techniques and removing outdated systems and procedures. The team is striving to improve communication between itself, the process of sharpening their inquiring abilities by learning from best global practices delegating responsibilities and adherence to strict standards while dealing with difficulties in order to achieve excellence in the organization's handles all legislation for which they are accountable and strives for a better outcome. In all situations, conducting a fair and reasonable inquiry. It gathers information and shares the truth without fear, makes the best choice possible without favoring anyone, fair, non-biased acts, does not tolerate power abuse, operate with the discipline to reach their goals, the team is liable for the consequences of their actions and accountable for a result. By all this, we can conclude that Directorate of Enforcement is a government department dedicated to the advancement of our country. This is the government supported agency that works to prevent and control money laundering in India. It is serving the nation with a good and clear vision. This agency is supported by a large number of officers from several departments. They investigate and settle the problem through the adjudication process as well as conduct a variety of other functions by utilizing the powers granted to them by an agency. Its purpose is to boost our economy. It convicts individuals who commit fraud or engages in money laundering as well as those who violate the requirements of the FEMA and PMLA. Its efforts in monitoring and combating money laundering as well as serving as the guardian of two essential laws or acts would help India improve and expand its economy. For more concerns or questions on working of ED, kindly email us at info at the rate or call 98703 Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.